Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 38. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are here taking part in the last of the uh, leftover events. Um, so all of the blue ones are sort of individual challenges. We can do those now. We're going to leave the green ones for uh, afterwards. Uh, after the final clubs. Because those are going to be the final events, the final long races. And then that will be Test Drive Unlimited 100% completed. It's going to be really fun, actually. But here we go. We've got the Koenig's Day. Got a little bit of lag going on. Um, this event is actually no restrictions, so um, we have ended up taking this car now. But uh, we can swap it out for an A class if we want to. Um, but for some reason, the frame rate is diabolical right now. I may have to uh, restart my console at this rate. Uh, it seems to have cleared up a little bit. Come on, Kudig Z, get out of the way. Not your time to shine today. It's my time. This is a very short race as well, this one. We're going uh, north to south, completing all of the blue events. Uh, including the no restrictions, so we haven't. Oh, come on. Thank you for that. That hold to break and then tap again to reverse throws me off with these kind of games. But then again, it is sort of realistic. You wouldn't be able to swap into reverse instantly like you can in Forza and that. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. At least get silver. There we go. Silver medal. I'll take that. That was a good second place finish. GG's all round. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Thank you very much. Right, next event. Let's have a look and see where that is. Uh, that is just off to here called Blind Faith. This is a 2.6 mile race. Uh, and it is a race, not a time trial like all the other ones. Perfect. Select the location and make our way there. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Perfect. You have reached your destination. Right, enter. It didn't enter for some reason as well. Right, so let's take a look and see what card we're going to take for this one. Uh, I feel like taking the... We've got to go A-class, of course. Uh, I feel like a Zonda would be a good idea. Let's do this. It's time for the Pagani Zonda to shine. Here we go. Let's let's do this. What do you mean I'm going in the wrong direction? I'm going forwards. Very nice. Good start. Going against the full squad. Oh, no. Full squad of Zondas here. Ah, I'm trying to keep it stable. Got quite a steep downhill section here. I'm pretty sure some of the gradients in this track are more extreme than the corkscrew at Laguna Seca. I'm pretty sure some of the gradients are more extreme than that. Imagine 24 hour at Le Mans, but at Laguna Seca. That would be insanely crazy and hectic. 
I don't think it'd be physically possible, actually. Too many cars on the track. Look at this, though. We are definitely flying by. Come on, come on. Nice. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect. And across the line. Nice. We came first place there. Very good. 14,000 credits. Nice. Your itinerary is being recalculated. All right. Uh, next event's not too far away, actually. Probably didn't need to load up the map, but uh, we did it anyways. Right. Another race. Another one. Your itinerary is being Another one. Right, so this one is called Cliff's Edge. Um, I think we're going to take Zonda again. 2.2 uh, miles. So, yeah, this is going to be easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezer. Alright, and we're in a full pack of Zondas, but this time actually different colours. Last time it was all just red Zondas. So, uh, we got some variation this time. I don't think any two people actually have the same colour in this race, so that's good. Nice. Turn the lights on. Let's be fancy. Nice. Alright, slowing down for this corner. Come on. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, what's going on? What's going on? Keep it steady. Look at the size, the vast size of the scenery around here. The vast emptiness. I mean, they could definitely have filled that in with a couple more roads. There we go, across the line. First place, 1 minute 26 for that race. We're flying through these races now. Uh, next one is 0 0.9 miles away, but again, we're just going to fast travel there. This is 1.5 miles, no restrictions. We're just getting event after event right now. Uh, so this is the foothills. The Kelikol foothills. Uh, 19,000 credits if we come first, which is very good. Very good, very nice. Awesome. Alright, here we go. And we're off. Oh, a little bit of a tap there. That is okay. Nice. Keep it going. Keep it, keep it smooth and steady. Nice. Awesome. And there we go. Already finished that race. Fifty three seconds. Crazy. And we managed to quit that menu and get back onto the track quicker than ever. For some reason, there was no glitching or whatever. Um, okay. 
So next up in terms of height wise, uh, we've already done that. Uh, next up is this one called uh, Top Dart. Uh, so this is a speed trap again, 20,000 credits. Uh, based on the fact that it is a speed trap, I think we're going to go for the 412 for this one. The Chrysler. Because that thing is a beast when it comes to speed traps. Here we go, top dart. Let's swap to the Chrysler. Uh, average speed is 200 miles an hour, so hopefully it's just one speed trap. If it's more than one, and we have corners, we may have a problem. It is just one speed trap, though, so... Listen to that engine, though. Not the best sounding engine, but it is definitely powerful. It's got some power behind it. Are uh, we going to get big airtime here? Look at that, 422 airtime points. We're going 265. Come on. Surprisingly, nothing is lagging yet. Come on, can we get 280? Look at that, 281, 282. No way are we going to hit 290. <laughs> 287.69. Wow. Jesus. That thing is quick. I didn't realize it was that much quicker, right? 270, understandable. Not 287, that is impre- Look, we started like up here and we ended up down there in about a minute. Wow. Okay, so next up is this. This is a five lap, 1.5 mile race. Um, so let's load for an hour. Uh, but we are gonna be doing this one and this is called The River. Uh, five laps, 1.5 miles, which is in total 7.5 miles. So, and we're going to drive the Chrysler again. Um, I think after this race, we'll then swap to SLR, maybe? I don't know yet. Here we go, though. We got Chryslers for days. And we are sat right at the back. Let's turn our lights on. Let's go. I wish this car was in white. This would look stunning in a white colour. I'm not even joking. It would look amazing. How come we never really heard much about the Chrysler 412 then? Even though it's a concept car. Why didn't we hear much about it in, like, the performance cars and stuff like that? It's like it only seemed to be in this game and one other game. I can't even remember what the other game was. I think it might have been, like, it was either Forza Motorsport 1 or Project Gotham Racing 1. Either one of those, but it was in those games, one of them. And it was mental to drive. This thing is mental. Look at that. The interior isn't even that fancy for it. If you guys haven't already seen it, this is the interior. It's not a very uh, luxurious place. Oh, don't want to spin the car out just yet. No thanks. Awesome. Turn left. 
nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, that is two laps completed. We got three more left to go. Uh, so this race is probably gonna take about four minutes and 45 seconds, I'd say. Somewhere around there. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Go, 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 go. Awesome. Nice. Come on, we can do this. Right, final lap. Come on, we got this. Ah, uh, slow down. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Where's the finish line? Here we go. And across the line. We came first. 4 minutes 36. That was actually 10 seconds quicker than I was expecting it to be. So, uh, very good there. Your itinerary is being recalculated. It's being recalculated. Perfect. Okay, so we have... How many more events do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six left to do. And then that's my recording session for today done. But uh, first of all, we're going to do this race, which is Airball. Uh, no restrictions again. Uh, but it is aimed at like four stars expert level, which is, if I remember, B class. So it should be okay. Uh, we're not going to drive this car again. We've driven this enough. We're going to drive the SLR for a bit. Um, because then we need to do the clubs tomorrow. No. Tomorrow I'm resorting out my setup and I forgot to change the car. Brilliant. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, so yes, tomorrow I'm sorting out my setup. So I'm going to have a complete new setup. Uh, so everything's going to be moved over. But also, we're going to have, um, by Friday, this game should be completed, which would be amazing to finish it by then, because that way I can have the weekend off, I can have Saturday and Sunday off, um, sort of no videos, just calm down a bit, but also on Monday, I can then start again with Yakuza, hopefully. Uh, and I've completely messed up that corner. There we go. Back on track. Uh, but yes. We'll then be starting Yakuza. Hopefully. I might be. I'm not sure yet. 
if we get any like recommendations between now and Monday, then yeah, I'll probably end up doing that instead. But uh, I really want to play Yakuza Kiwami and Yakuza Kiwami 2. So we're going to see how it goes. Nice. We're speeding through the game. Ta -da. This track's actually quite long, but because this car is overpowered and quick as hell, it feels like nothing. Joe, you know, one thing I wish, and I want to see if I can do, is get into the airfield. Because I would presume there'd be a way to get to the airfield in this game. Like, that's just a wasted opportunity if they've, like, put in planes and stuff like that if you can't actually get into it. Like, I don't care if the graphics are bad, as long as I can have fun. But obviously, graphics can't be worse than your last-gen counterpart, either. So if you do make your graphics better, you can't sort of, like, go back the track and make it worse. That's just not how games work. At the next intersection, turn right. I've done that twice now. That corner doesn't look that tight on the minimap, but as soon as you get to it, it's like heavy braking. Got no chance. Oh, come on. There we go, nice. Come on, come on, come on. We've got one mile left till... Oh, wait, no, there's an extra checkpoint. Two hundred and fifty miles an hour down that road. With a two hundred mile an hour drift. Yeah, I I wasn't getting around that corner. We've gone way too fast, way too soon. There we go. Hopefully now, though, we can go uh, swap this car, get something else, and sort of shift up the pace a little bit. A little bit slower, but not too much slower. We'll go for, like, an SLR, which I think is the slowest A-class car anyways. There we go. Very nice. Your itinerary is being recalculated. All right. Um, where is it then? Oh, the game froze. There we go. Perfect. Uh, next up is this one. This is called Shark Tooth. This is uh, 5.3 miles for two laps. Let's fast travel, please. Please, game. Thank you. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Here we go. Oh, look at the power. You can tell this thing has a lot of power. Like, big time. Right, let's go normal difficulty for this. And I want to swap my car. I'm re I'm not driving. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.